Dieu que c'est lâche, que c'est fâcheux, quelle tragédie, quel tracas. Mon Dieu que c'est vache, mon amoureux est reparti là-bas. Mon Dieu que c'est triste, il m'aimait si peu. Moi je l'aimais tant, je crois. Mon Dieu, tu t'en fiches. Um, I was able to pick up some absolutely gorgeous figs while I was in New York. Incredibly sweet, delicious figs. Now, that's one of the best ways to have a fig is to just eat it just like that. Let me tell you about a couple of things that I'm doing with figs actually tonight for a dinner party we're having. One thing that I've done with the figs is I mashed them into a paste, combined it with some olive oil and um, some vinegar. And so I've got myself a beautiful vinaigrette, and I'm going to use this to serve on some raw vegetables. So another thing that I'm doing with figs today is I'm using it to help make a glaze, a marinade and then a glaze for a piece of poultry, for duck tonight. Come on over here and I'll show you what I've been doing. So here in the oven I've got a couple of ducks that have been cooking for a while. Come and take a look. So these ducks have been in here for a couple of hours. For the marinade, I ground the figs up, I added some soy sauce, I added some balsamic vinegar, some oil, a variety of other things to create a nice marinade for that duck. And I left it in there for a while. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking that marinade and I'm brushing it on every maybe 20 minutes or so, so that flavor really gets infused. <laughs> Another option, another thing you can do with figs. I often, when I'm having dinner parties, to have a palate cleanse or something nice and cool and refreshing, I make what are called granitas. And a granita is really just some kind of a liquid that you put in the freezer and you take that liquid. If you take a look down here, you'll be able to see. I put it into a shallow vessel. And uh, basically, every 15 minutes or so, go in here with a fork and move it around in the freezer. And eventually, when it's done, you will have kind of crystallized ice that you can then spoon into small cups or bowls. Now, what I'm doing with figs with this is I've put some uh, vodka in here. I've ground some figs in here, put a little bit of lime and sugar. You can make any cocktail that you want and then turn it into a fig cocktail by just grinding in some of the pulp. And the sweetness from the fig really is a nice counterbalance to the acid from the lime. Finally, I'd like to just show you the simplest thing you can do with a fig other than pop it in your mouth that's very classic. Is cut your figs in half, get yourself a nice small skillet, put butter in that skillet, and then let it heat up a little bit, turn those figs over into the skillet so they are face down like this. And then just turn the heat up a little bit and give it maybe three, four, five minutes and occasionally just turn one over to look to see if it's turned brown. You can also sprinkle if you want to a little bit of sugar in with the butter, but with figs during the uh, peak season, the sugar is already bursting out of this. Once you're done, flip them over, put them on a plate. You can eat them just like this or drizzle a little honey on it, or even better yet, a little vanilla ice cream on the side, and then drizzle a little bit of honey onto the vanilla ice cream, and let a little bit of it fall over onto the figs. And finally, what you can do is brush the bottom of a fig with some olive oil and put it on a grill. When you pull those off, a couple of drops of balsamic vinegar, a fantastic, fantastic hors d'oeuvre. So that's it on the
Somebody joue avec toi, la samba.